Welcome everyone to Juno Sweet Just Commentary. So we're gonna check out an awesome video entitled Street Food in Awesome Bangkok, Awesome Pad Thai and Instant Noodle. Of course, thank you very much for requesting this awesome video. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to video. Of course, don't forget to leave a comment below and I'll try my utmost best to react. Utmost best to react. I utmost, utmost best to react to it. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. I hope you're having let's, an amazing let's, day. Let's. It's Mark Wien's I am Mark Wien. One of the best Bangkok street Ooh. streets is Pet Booty Street Food Island. This is the type of street that you can come. Um, you can literally just walk down the street. You can see whatever wow. is available, and you can eat. You can come here with no food. If I'm coming to this area, I'm telling you, I'm it's coming for a limited amount of cash because my cash will finish so quick. I will eat everything I can get my hands on as long as I can afford it. Wow. Egg and rice. Egg and rice. This is very interesting. Mm, never had that. I must try egg and rice together. Of course, the traffic. <laughs> Neat, but it's a lot. A lot of traffic, yeah? The main road, and it's a huge, Pet Buri. usually traffic congested road. See what I tell you? A lot of traffic. On the side road, which is called Soy 5, you will find just an abundance of street food. It's one of the best Bangkok Soy street five. food streets. Uh, and you'll find street food throughout the day, but the best time to come is in the evening, starting at about 4 p.m. And then there's Whoa. more and more street food as you get further into the evening at about 5 or 6 p.m. One thing I'm telling you, if I'm coming to Thailand, and to stay somewhere close lot. by where I have a lot of street food. Definitely close to the hotel or the motel or the inn, whatever so it's called. I'm just here this evening to just walk around and share with you all the Thai street food that we eat for dinner tonight. Uh, cream version or non cream non cream is delicious <laughs> so they're preparing it. oh you have to ask uh, so which kind wow fish sauce oh boy they're making this more than just <laughs> <laughs> More than just a noodle attack. Oh, chili. Oh, what? I don't want chili in mine. <laughs> Is that spicy? No way. I don't want spice in mine. That's a lot of ingredients. Okay, this isn't just a noodle in a pack for sure. Wow. This is a lot of awesome ingredients. And everything is about ready. All together. Wow. Oh wow. This is looking very healthy now. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't eat this dish very often. <laughs> They turn that simple little pack into something very delicious looking. Yum mama. Yum mama. Of the noodle. Yeah. Yum mama. 152 US. 152 US is how much in all money. Water mimosa, there's cabbage in here, there's mushrooms, it's a little bit of soup. That's about four dollars in my currency. Four dollars. Um, yeah, that's a ten dollars. That's about ten dollar bill. And if you can see, that's the Queen of England right there. That's our ten dollar bill. So we've got the Queen on this first bite, along with some noodles, of course, and there's a mix of mushrooms as well. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> I love how the people, the vendors are so very friendly. I love that. Everybody there is attentive. Instant noodle flavor. You know, it's not something I would eat like all the time, but it is good in that kind of like instant noodle. Looks delicious, quick to make, and very simple, but very healthy looking indeed. Reinterpretation of the noodles. Uh, yeah, just, definitely. You've got the chilies in there, so it's more spicy. You've got all those goodies, the imitation crab. No the chili for me. I like the tomatoes in there. It's sour. It's a little bit sweet, and it's spicy. Wow, so is that potato? Oh no, that's hot dog. Is that hot dog? Is it? I don't really like hot dog mix. either. What is that brown thing there? Looks like almost like um cow skin or something. I will admit though, <laughs> it's pretty tasty. 
I can well imagine. So what is that brown thing in there? I'm curious. And look how the environment is so neat. I mean, I like that he can speak Thai so well. I don't know how long he's been in Thailand. Instant noodles were a were a staple. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of electrical wires. Holy cow! Oh my god, that's a lot of electrical wires. Whoa. Did you notice how this young fellow passed so close to him, man? Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. This is one of the bigger and more well-known spots to eat kanam krok in Bangkok. You'll find you'll find kanam krok the wow. griddle cakes all over Bangkok, but this one is a, best? a pretty grand stall just from the the sign and they have how many griddles are they going uh, they have eight griddles going on so it's a mixture of rice flour with coconut milk and she wow. pours in the batter and lets it cook and then they have a number of different Ooh. flavors that you can add we got a mix of <laughs> and taro once the griddle cakes are finished cooking and 92 they out us the griddle, they put them together and and put the the crunchy sides on the outside 245 in cents in my currency the inside which should be like soft and gooey oh yeah oh, there, oh, this is the one looks delicious taro. so there you get twins I'm telling you, I'm gonna eat so much. The price is unbelievable. This is like, like almost three dollars in my money. Three dollars. I'm telling you, I'm gonna eat so much on the street food Thailand, of course. Wow. Is it spicy, Mac? You said if it's not spicy, I'm not eating. <laughs> Oh, wow. It looks almost like egg, honestly, it does. Wow. It looks almost like egg, yeah? It's the flavor, it's the contrast, and it's the texture that's so good about Kanam Krok. Wow. Very, it's like very relaxed like there. Side road in Bangkok, in Thailand, in Thai. Uh, but this entire neighborhood is, it's the type of neighborhood that you, it's like a pocket in Bangkok. You could stay here, you could live here, wow. you wouldn't even need to ever go into another part of oh, Bangkok. There's everything you need here. There's cell phone shops, there's ATMs, there's about 7-Elevens, wow. there are restaurants, there's street food, there's salons, you can get a massage. Everything in that same place, huh? Yeah, you can. You, you would never need to leave this area if you didn't want to. <laughs> and the traffic, is like they are all. Everyone is managing if all this traffic. It's amazing. Oh, the sun is setting. What a bright the room got. The sun is setting. The Bangkok Street. This Bangkok Street food street. Uh, it's called Cha Payong. And Ying Ying actually wants Cha uh, Yen, a Thai iced tea. So that's why we're stopping here. He says. They're very well known. And what you he is very tall compared to her. That's what some people are saying? Yeah. Okay. Ying, Ying, <laughs> Ying's sister said that it's one of the best Thai iced teas. So we're going to see. We actually got two different types of tea. This one is 76 the Thai Yen, which is the Thai cents. Iced tea wow. Milk tea. And of course, you got it. You got it in a, a cup and then in a plastic Two dollars. Two dollars for this. I will leave. Let's say I come to Thailand weighing like 100 pounds. I'm quite sure I'm gonna leave Thailand weighing 200 pounds. I'm telling you. Oh my god. Wow. I'm, I'm coming to Thailand feet and trim and I'm leaving. Oh, no. oh. This one looks like a natural. <laughs> it looks like Tamin. It's called Chamanao. It's lime tea. It's really refreshing. It's, it's really like a like a cross between a lemonade and tea. Not as rich. Wow. The wires, though. Oh my god, the wires. How is it that there are so many wires? What? 
There are so many electrical wires. We're going down a side street now. Wow. A place that serves one of the most well-known of all Thai street I've conditions. never seen so and many wires, honestly. It's right down this road here. What? The wires, sorry, the wires got my attention tremendously. I remember asking guys what's the main source of generating electricity in Thailand. Of course, I would like to really know. It moved? Wow! They upgrade. Cut. And now they have their own permanent location here, but you can still see wow. the remnants of the, the street food cart. This is still the, the street food cart here, but now they have tables where you can sit down. Okay, we're going to have some pad thai, wow. and we're also going to have a pod, which is a fried <laughs> muscle. I think they're using muscle for actors. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. If someone is, is feeling down and depressed, I think they should watch videos about Thailand, especially watch videos about Thailand. Because it's so uplifting. I mean, not just the things on time, but the people and their personalities, the vendors. They treat people so well. They have such a bubbly spirit. And this is what I love. Life is too short to be depressed around depressed people. We should be around people and happy as we are. You know what I mean? That's a good thing about Thailand. I love it. Ooh, I don't like that. That looks so good. Oh, I've never eaten it, but it looks good. Ooh. Wow. It's nice that they upgrade from street food to an actual location in a shop. Why is that on? You're not young siblings, look like. Wow. Wow. Let me see how much this one is gonna cost. I might calculate already. He's making the pun high now, and it's just <coughs> watch him in amazing. So many eh? So many ingredients to add on. And you know what I like? Everyone is waiting patiently for their meal. It's not a hustle and bustle. It's a fast world in Thailand, but it's patience. Wow. And one of my favorite steps is when she takes the, the different ingredients. They've got some sugar here, they've got peanuts, they've got wow. some and tofu, and some radish. And she tosses them like, with the... Are these chicken eggs or duck eggs? Just ask him. That's a lot of eggs. But they are huge. The eggs are big. And then my, my, my other favorite food is how he uses, in order to cook the pad thai, he uses, in one hand he has a spatula, in another hand he has, it's, it's like a grill prong. And so he uses that, both of them together, to like kind of whip up the noodles. The heat is evenly wow. distributed between the <laughs> Like absorbing all of the sauce oh wow getting coated, coated in the sauce it's a he, he's an amazing amazing chef. sometimes it's made with uh, oysters but this one is made with mussels he's what is that uh, you gotta eat it while it's hot what is that a white is that like crusty, small seedlings crusty. young seedlings yeah it's it's really good when it's hot and fresh another thing you don't want to think about is how much oil he added because it just slow fizzles <laughs> you can see like bubbles of oil forming and that just <laughs> ensures that it will be extraordinarily crispy. Can you hear that crispiness? Okay, so you can see there's bean sprouts wow. mixed in. There is some... Oh, bean sprouts. Um, okay, I know it had to be some sibling bean sprouts. I'm going to break a piece of this. Get some of this. And there is a sauce too, which I will also eat. But first, let's just taste it. Is it spicy, Mark? I know Mark loves spicy food. <laughs> now, I wonder if it's spicy. Oil. Ooh, it is falling down there. Wow. Mac <laughs> <laughs> is what Mac is, is eating. It's amazing. But Thai. <laughs> oh my God! It looks so delicious, yo. <laughs> Oh, I love all the videos from Mac. They really makes you just want to run in your kitchen and just whip up something to eat. And the video is only 14 minutes in and it's already so delicious. Look at it. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. 
What a simple and extraordinary life to live in Thailand. So many availability of food. One of the things that we all live for is food. Literally, we live for food. We work for food. We do everything because we have to eat. And it's so amazing that Thailand has such affordable meals, which is very healthy, not just about a chicken and fries nonsense. Yes, it's so rich with ingredients. The diversity, the colors. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not even able to smell it yet and just by visually seeing it, it's just so, so amazing. Wow. And then finally you cannot get away without squeezing lime. lime. That, that's what really brings it together in my opinion. That's what really <laughs> I'm surprised, I keep saying I'm surprised that Mac is very fit. I mean if all this meal, either the meal is so healthy that you will not let you get obese or he is very much active in the gym area of life or something but he eats a lot of different meals <coughs> but i suspect it have to do with the healthiness of the meal it's very healthy looking and they are putting a lot of ingredients in it that's healthy organic natural oh he's eating that just like that <laughs> And a the bit banana blossom. What? I did not know that. Yeah. Hey, I want to see a video about the banana blossom because I will soon have a lot of banana blossom in my backyard garden. But please, if there's a video about how to make banana blossom, is a meal or something? I've never eaten it. Usually, we throw that part away. Which is the shrimp is getting back now. The shrimp head oil. That's what makes it red, and that's what gives pad thai a good pad thai some of its flavor. Wow. And now they have their own shop house restaurant. So that's an amazing success story. Uh, Free. Free. That less than eighty one cents. It's exactly 6 p.m. now, and you can see that it's getting busy. Ten dollars in our money. Yeah, I'm suspecting that. A lot of the vendors live around this area, and so then they, uh, when it's evening, they just push their carts out. Sometimes they even cook in their house, and then they bring the food out to the street. To wow, sell it. So it's the night life in Thailand. Of food, <laughs> of ingredients. Yeah, there's, you can choose from so many different Most dishes. of Thailand young We're generation of population is employed. Because in the night, I find I have a lot of young persons on the street. So maybe they're either in university or they are employed during the day, which is good. This is always good. When you see the young generation or the young population is employed or very actively busy in something productive. This is a very green setting right there. <laughs> Wow, she punched it all together. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying it's a very green <laughs> setting. <laughs> wow. You know, also what I like in Thailand is that they are trying their very best to speak English. So it's not just about the Thai language but that most of the Thai people they either learn in English or they know some part of English and that is good. This is very encouraging for people who speak English to come and visit Thailand knowing that it's not just they're not just visiting a place which is strictly one language but they're diverse in their language especially English. This is What's that? I've never I've seen, seen that before. As well. So it's pretty cool. Oh wow. Like cucumbers, of course. <laughs> wow. So most people would get this for takeaway and then bring it home to eat because she has no tables and she, she packs it all to go in a plastic bag. But I am wow, it's still stand good. Right here and, eat it and enjoy it. Right, Where is she? The, the rubber band, which can sometimes be a challenge in Thailand. And then <laughs> in Thailand, like as a 
How much? 241. 214, sorry. So you have to stick it in there, Nathan? <coughs> wow. Also, these are not pre cooked, then. Oh, yeah. You can, like, <laughs> you can cake, cake some of that sauce up on your, your vegetable of choice. Hey, Mac, you were supposed to go over and eat it, that's right. <laughs> wow. So many innovative well, and creative ways to enjoy the meals in Thailand. Macro, but also from the, the pala, the fermented fish sauce that she has in there. It's salty, Why is this spicy, red thing? Chili pepper, pepper, of course. He love chili peppers. Don't know why. Wow. What is this? I've never seen that before. What is it in English? You're looking like aloes, but it's not. Anyone knows what's this in English? I've never seen. <laughs> I've never seen this vegetable before. Sorry that it's getting dark and the sun is setting. Or oh, the sun looks like it already set. It's Sorry. It's like slimy and, and bitter and smoky. Looks that way. Kind of crisp all at the same time. It's a lot going on. Ooh, I didn't know Vickers were passing there too. That's delicious and I have a little bit more to take home and eat later. It's almost like you're eating in the middle of a garden in a forest. <laughs> so many vegetables. Hello, the mosquitoes are trying to get in now. <laughs> I love how their personality, the energy. The vendors are very energetic. That's a lot of ice. Whoa, what is, is that a drink? Fresh style jelly. Ooh. Wow. Is it healthy to punch a hole in the tin and leave it sitting there that long? Or are they using a whole tin? Because what we know is that once you punch a hole in the tin, you have to use it like. Right next to the lady who is pounding the nampek and all the vegetables. Uh, she is so fun and she's such a character. And she was. Yeah. Where'd she go now? No, she, went, she just ran into 7 Eleven. <laughs> but anyway, she sells chow kuai right here. And so she's so nice that we. we she, she when the vendor ran into the 7 Eleven? <laughs> 6 76 cents. Oh, she went for more milk. Oh, okay. But the milk, the milk, it's not, I don't think it's healthy to um, have the milk in the tin. That's what I know. The mosquitoes are trying to get into my room because right now the window is open for the better lighting of the video and I'm seeing them trying to come inside. <laughs> they, they sank below the ice. <laughs> Yeah. Kind of neutral taste, but it's kind of like it is kind of green tasting, even though it's black in color. So what is it made out of? I like the texture. Of course, I simply apologize that the video is getting dark. My setting is sunset already, and as I told you, we have no electricity, so please forgive the whole dimming of the lights right now. My solar light is the only light right now, and some natural lighting outside there, but the sunset already. Great video, of course. This was a good feature right there. What is he gonna eat next? We met so many friendly people, and there's so many Thai street foods that you can try along this road. You know what's also the fact that Mac is doing this video and it's getting dark, and I'm doing this reaction video and it's getting dark. <laughs> it's like we're going for the same. <laughs> I actually like that. That he is get, where he is is getting dark nighttime, where I'm is getting dark nighttime. It's like. Awesome, I just realized that's actually a good thing. <laughs> Ooh, this 
Soviets. It's kind of like the the sibling of Pebble Soy Five. That is a lot of video recording Mac is doing. Wow, more submits. That is just so amazing. Well, actually, along the street there has to be like a dozen salons, but I noticed the barber shop that's that's open right there. And as you might have noticed, my my hair is getting kind of long. Yeah, you have to go to the barber shop, eh? Ooh, he's going to go to the barber shop. I think he did a fantastic job and it cost 100 bucks. One hundred bucks, $3 and 5 cents. That's so much. Let me see, it costs $10 in my currency. 3.05 times 2.67. Yeah, it's even more expensive because to get a haircut is like $10 here in Thai, it does in my currency. In Thailand, it's in plus my currency. Oh, wow. This looks like a very jellyish, jellyish. Oh, the eggs and the rice. It was like the stall was actually in the street. They had a tree going up. There were tuk tuks and motorbikes passing at ferocious speeds. And he and his spies. Mac love spies. Oh, I'm gonna kill this mosquito. Oh, I think I got. Did I? Where is it? Try to get the mosquito. Try to come in my. Oh, oh, got you! Ha ha ha! I got it. Wow. Okay, we'll save the yolk for the next bite. A little piece of the egg. That is looking very nice. I'm not much for this meal. I hope they mention it at the end of the meal. With some rice. The mosquitoes are trying to get in. And he and his eyes again, and it's amazing. <laughs> it's spicy. Watch how his eyes got so red. The yolk. Oh, spice. Oh, he loves spice. I suppose in high, oh, most of Thailand, they're in love with spice. <laughs> One more for good measure. I think you guys will love it. <laughs> Oh, that's just a perfect, an absolutely perfect wow. yolk. It's just runny to perfection. Oh, it just I love how we put it together. It's running to perfection. The egg yolk is running to perfection. Mix in with that chilies and fish sauce. It's yolky. It's porky. There's basil. There's rice. Look at that bite. That is amazing. Camera, focus. <laughs> That's a big oh, glass of spicy sauce. That is wow. Perfection. That is the taste of Thai street food. Is that like pork? Pork or, or, or beef? Like this meat right there. I know what that looks like pork. Many Thais, what they would want to eat if they come back to Thailand after traveling for a long time. You, this is the dish you're going to hear. Wow. I have a bit oh one dollar and twenty two cents. My gosh. Okay, and that was a fantastic way to end this Thai street food tour wow. of Peburi Soy Five. Roughly about three dollars or three dollars and twenty five cents in our uh, currency, really my currency. Street, just to get an introduction to Thai street food, just to walk around. It's a, like I said, it's a place that you can come. You don't need to have any idea. You can just point and choose wow. to see whatever looks good and try it. And thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give that it a thumbs up. That is an interesting video. And also, if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe. Subscribe, definitely. Be publishing lots more food and travel videos. Okay. Thanks again for watching. Good night. Great video, of course, from and Mark Wynn. See you on the next video. Awesome, Mark Wynn, of course, in Bangkok, Thailand. Thank you very much for sticking around and watching this entire video with me. It was awesome. I am just so much in love with Bang and Mark Wynn's video where he shows especially the street food of Thailand. And it's so encouraging and so enticing to want to visit Thailand and enjoy this meal. This very affordable meal, I must add. Healthy and affordable meal. Of course, thank you very much for requesting this video. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to the video. Definitely leave a comment below and I'll try my utmost best to react to it. Thank you very much. Bye, guys.